I think some of the current taken for granted assumptions about paradox coming from paradox theory is that there are uh, uh, paradoxes that lie latent, uh, they're inevitable, they're present, and that when change or crises or situations that demand wicked problems and decisions arise, we make them salient. Uh, while that is an important kind of assumption, I'd like to see us update that. And I think it's because we're moving away from treating paradox as a noun. Paradox is a verb, it's an adjective, it's a set of relationships. And I think as we work away from doing that, we begin to think about how are they constituted? And how are they constituted through multiple tensions and dialectics that play off of each other and that are managed in ways that bring about paradoxical relationships and situations. If we think this way, we no longer think about something lying below the surface, latent, and something then becoming uh, salient or surface. We really think about the ongoing developmental constitutive nature of how paradoxes come out of contradictions and dialectics.